Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to the PCF. Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss about the running total and the cumulative sales in DAX of Power BI. So actually, we have a cumulative sales for month to date sales and quarter to date sales and then year to date sales. Okay, we have a direct functions for MTD, YTD, and QTD. So that is the reason it's giving the for only month till month end it will do the cumulative sales and for MTD and QTD it will do till. Uh, quarter uh, and it will do the cumulative sales again for the next quarter it again it will start a fresh cumulative sales and then do the cumulative cumulative sales means like uh, so if uh, some of the so like basic people like so what is cumulative sales means suppose you have a today you have a 5000 rupees tomorrow again you have a uh, 2000 rupees okay what is the total for uh, today you have so 5000 plus uh, 2000 7000 7000 again tomorrow you uh, you may have you know 3000 okay 7000 plus 3000 okay so uh, first day you have 5000 and then second day you have uh, 2000 so total 7000 okay 7000 plus 3000 10000 okay 10000 plus uh, 7000 17000 like this so end of the max date okay so in the current context what is the max date till max date it will do the cumulative sales okay till max date it will do the cumulative sales that is the running totals or cumulative totals okay so for that same sample data i have taken so same sample data whatever the sample data so i have shown in excel the same sample data so even you can enter okay just i have taken only 10 dates okay so i have taken only 10 dates and then so random amounts i have entered so even you can take this simple uh, no so you can enter okay you can go and then so go with the enter data and then you can enter this okay so now we'll do the cumulative sales for that uh, we need to write a measure uh, there is no direct uh, functions per to do cumulative sales guys okay so cumulative or running totals or running sales something you can write and then uh, go with the calculate sum of uh, sales amount sum of amount and then close shift enter okay, sorry. shift enter uh, move to the next line and then you can apply a filter apply filter uh, all on dates okay you can go with the so filter apply on dates and then close and then the filter expression is like uh, a date so like uh, sales date less than or equal to okay less than or equal to max of okay uh, sales date. Okay, so okay, this this way you have to write, and then shift enter, and then close bracket off. Close bracket. Sorry, close bracket off. Calculate, and then enter. Okay, so now so let's take this uh, running totals into this. Okay, see five thousand, five thousand plus two thousand, seven thousand, seven thousand plus three thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand plus seven thousand, seventeen thousand. So like this, it will do. How it is doing? Okay, first it will take the first date. First date it will take, and then it will check with the max date. Okay, so max date whether it is you know equal to or less than. Okay, it is less than. Less than means okay the total as this amount will come here and then sit here. Okay, the uh, sum it will do, it will do the sum, and then again it will uh, check the first uh, the second uh, for that second also it will check with the max date. Okay, so it's not you uh, know. Um, less than okay each row wise it will go and then for uh, again also the second so this two will be you know uh, summed okay this two will be summed first date and then for the second for second date first uh, you will, will check the first date and then second date okay the two amounts will be summed and then again uh, for third third date first date will check and then second date and then third date okay third date is less than or equal to okay so it will again so it will check the cumulatives for each day wise so what is the amount is there and then this date again this less than or equal to again less than or equal to it will check again less than or equal to so whenever the max date is meet till that date till that time it will do the cumulative sales okay till that time it will do the cumulative sales okay if it is you have a multiple years so it will go um, do the cumulative sales for the if you have a two years and then three years like that so that many years it will do okay ytd means it's only uh, till end uh, end of the year, it will do the cumulative sales, and then again uh, for if you have one more year, it will again start with the fresh year. 
but so this cumulative sales will not stop anywhere so it will do the max wherever the max date so till max date it will do the cumulative sales okay hope you like the video so please subscribe uh, my channel guys okay if you watch the first time and then um, to encourage me please you uh, know hit the like button and then share for more people okay for this video this kind of videos guys okay i am going to create a video on daily daily basis daily i will give the tips or you know uh, uh, dax wise calculation related to the power bi and then msbi okay so and sql server so thank you so much guys so hope you